19 of the 25 members <sighs> of China's of the team representing China um, at the Olympics in hockey. 19 out of 25 were born in North America. Um, oh, yeah. That's crazy. 11 of those are Canadians. Nine are Chinese. Three are Americans. And there's one Russian. Which is, you know, fun. Making up the Chinese. (laughs) (laughs) But how three Americans are representing China in the hockey team. I mean, this is yeah, we we've gone a long way since what was what's that movie called? What's the hockey movie where we beat Russia? Miracle. It's been a long (laughs) way. The American triumph of nineteen (laughs) eighty when we beat Soviet Russia. I think I think a lot of our viewers just found out how young I am, unfortunately. Um, and that I don't know anything about the world. But yeah, th- I just, I, I, I don't I don't understand how you're born in America. You know, one of these guys is born in Chicago, yeah. born and raised in Chicago. And, you know, he's quoted as saying, you know, we're going to go out there and we're going to win. We're going to earn some respect for China. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> we're going to earn some respect going all the way in. for a genocidal regime, a genocidal communist regime on the world stage. And, you know, the, the grouping that China has been paired with include the U.S. and Canada. So... These guys are proudly playing for China against the U.S. and against Canada directly. And, you know, the reason specifically the reason why this team is made up of so many North Americans is because they all play for this um, Chinese professional hockey team, the Kunlun Red Star. So every member of the national team is a member of that. Well, and I mean, and of course, they're all going to come from North America because hockey is a North American sport. So we're going to recruit from. I mean, it makes sense. Yeah. I, do, I don't condone it, but it does make sense. Well, what, what, what do you, why did this happen? I don't, like, it's hard for me to wrap my head around the fact that there are Americans proudly playing yeah. for China. So, like, That's how did we get to this spot, Joey? I don't know. So, I, <laughs> I hate to give that answer. I don't know. But like, I could never imagine basically dissing the United States and going and supporting China and having no problem whatsoever and saying, oh, you know what? Actually, I'm proud of it. Uh, I yeah. don't understand. The only thing They're I can like really think, proud of it. The yeah. only thing I can think is they weren't good enough to get on well, an American oh, that's or a yeah, Canadian that's team. A so they're just saying, oh, well, if yeah. I shill for China, they'll let me on the team. And if I say I'm proud of them, I'll get to play. But like I, the cultural attitudes around this, like I have no doubt that had this happened 60 years ago, Oh. Like, none of them would oh. be oh. playing for China. No, no way. No, no. 40 no way. years ago, none of them. Probably even 20 years ago. Like, when do you think that turning point was, Abby? When professional sports became better paid. <laughs> yeah, mm. that's because, a good I point. mean, I, I, I think that these guys are wrong for supporting China and playing for the Chinese national team and yeah. dissing America. I think that's wrong. It's unpatriotic. It's unethical. But at the same time, it's like, can I totally blame them? They're yeah. kind of looking out for themselves mm. of just... They're, they're professional athletes just in China. They're making money off of this. They took the opportunity. They couldn't make it in the NHL mm. or anywhere in Canada. So they're like, yeah. I'll go play for China right. and do what I love. They obviously love playing hockey and they're going to make money off of it. Yeah. I think too, since COVID started, right. there's been this refusal to condemn China for anything. This no, kind of I cultural think, yeah. Re- well, yeah. refusal to come down on yeah. China. And maybe that's part of it. Like China as a country has become more culturally acceptable in America. I think that's large what population. it is. I think yeah. that's what this is. Cause I think, you know, before if you were to honestly, like in those like 60, 40, 20 years ago, mm-hmm. if you were to play for any other country, it wouldn't be it, it wouldn't it would probably be frowned upon social oh, yeah. right yeah Socially, but now sure. yeah china i mean it's bad enough that it's another country but add to the fact that it is probably i mean obviously there are smaller countries that do a lot more you know horrific crimes within their borders but it's it's one of the greatest as in terms of power the greatest evils of our time is oh, the chinese yeah. regime oh yeah so it's yeah. pretty yeah. shocking For sure. You know, and we've seen it with the NBA players. You know, NBA players uh, come out in support of China. They don't necessarily, you know, bulk, bulk at it. You know, LeBron James will stand up against systemic racism in America, but he won't stand out against Uyghurs being genocided in the Xinjiang yeah. region. So I think it's part of that is that cultural, that inability, that unwillingness on the part of a lot of the kind of the sports industry to condemn China because they're making so much money from it. Right. Yeah. It's all it's all about the money and it's sad but it yeah. is. Yeah.